it was 1992. It was Barcelona, Spain. And it was the Summer Olympics. It was the 400 meter race. And in the race was a British runner, the leading runner for that race. And his name was Derek Redmond. Derek Redmond got in the starting blocks and he took off and he was ahead of the pack. 100 meters from the finish line, he tore his hamstring, an excruciating painful thing, and it took him to the ground. He lay there crying and in excruciating pain, pain at the injury and tears because he had lost the race that he had been training for all these years. If you remember those sports fans, remember he tried to drag himself along just to try to get as far as he could fall, but it was too much pain. And he just cried out because he was toe up from the floor up. But that's when a gentleman from the top of the audience worked his way down, came down to the track. The man's name was Jim Redmond. That was Derek's daddy. Derek's daddy came from the top of the stands, made his way down. Derek said to his daddy, Daddy, I don't want to go out like this. I want to finish the race. That's when Jim Redman helped Derek up, put his arm over his shoulder, put his arm around the race, and he said, Son, we're going to finish this race together. And he helped Derek Redman on the cross the finish line. You may be broke down. You may be tore up. You may have failed. You may have sinned. You may have disregarded the truth of God. But the Bible says when Jesus died, he rose and he went to the third heaven and he's on the right hand side of God. But when he sees one of his saints who are fixated on him, he'll leave the stands. He'll come down onto the track. He'll see where you're laid out. He'll pick you up and he'll drag you across the finish line for his glory. Keep your eyes on Jesus because he's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the author and the finisher. He'll get you across the finish line.